ready for all the rain to end across the Starkville area. Hang on, we have a wild roller coaster ride of weather coming up for you as we head throughout the next 24 hours. The picture right now, though, yeah, that's showing us that we still have that rain in the region. Some showers moving through at this time. You're seeing some of these purples and some of these pinks and blues. That's the radar trying to pick up some of those snowflakes that are in the air, but melting as they move toward the ground. So we're still just seeing rain at this point, but some snow is in the forecast as we see a pesky upper level low system move through the region. Basically, this is a pocket of cold air loft that will have some precipitation wrapping around it, and that'll create a rare November snowfall for our region region here in Starkville and moving northward into West Tennessee. In fact, they've already issued a winter storm watch the National Weather Service in Memphis has for areas north of Tupelo there from Lee County, Mississippi, all the way up there to Chester County, Tennessee. And surrounding that, we have a winter weather advisory as snowfall totals aren't expected to be as much around there. Say maybe a rain snow mix, maybe up to an inch of brief accumulation there because we have had all the rain lately. That means that we're not going to see much in the way of accumulation, but this is going to be to, mainly to our north. Any accumulation, one to three inches, maybe three inches plus for areas near the Mississippi and Tennessee border here, just south of the Jackson and I-40 corridor. But here in Starkville, maybe a rain-snow mix tonight. That's going to be changing over probably in the early morning hours of tomorrow. We could see a complete snow changeover, so we could have completely snow here, but with temperatures only in the mid-30s, I don't think we're going to get any of it to stick around here but there's no snow going on out there right now it's just rainy and dreary and cold to boot 39 degrees with a dew point of 37 those west winds at 12 miles per hour aren't making it feel any better out there and of course we have that rain going on across the region rotating around this area of low pressure and as it moves eastward a little bit we'll start to see some of this snow filter in on the back side of it as we head into tonight and also the cooler temperatures as well as we have a very big pocket of cold air here filtering into Mississippi and in fact we do have a cold front over here in eastern Alabama as we have 50 degree temperatures here in Atlanta 41 in Huntsville though and then back here in the Golden Triangle still in the upper 30s and that's not going to be dropping too much tonight as we do see this system pull through here Futurecast is trying to identify some snow up here in the Memphis region but I don't think it's going to be that small of an area that'll see snow I think it'll be pretty broad here but it will be moving out of the area as we move through tomorrow morning any snow that falls here in Stark should end around 10 a.m. or so, switch back to some rain showers, and then move through once we hit the noontime hour. That'll leave us with a mostly cloudy day around here in Starkville, but as we head into Thursday, it's going to be clearing out and be rather nice. But for today, we're going to keep the gloomy skies there, cool with some scattered showers, temperatures only getting to around 41 degrees here in Starkville. By tonight, that's when we enter the snow chance into the forecast here. I think that'll be towards the morning hours, say 8 or 9 a.m., where we could see a complete changeover. Not quite sure at this point because these upper-level lows are pesky to forecast here, but we will see 33 degrees here, maybe 34 with those west winds at 10. No accumulation expected here in Starkville, but as you head northward, if your travel plans take you up there, you probably see some on the grassy areas, but I don't think we'll have any road issues. But then for tomorrow here in Starkville, we will have 45 degrees. We will get rid of that snow and that rain will end by noon. Certainly some chilly temperatures around here as we head into tomorrow, but it will be warming up as we head through the latter part of this week. The sunshine is going to be returning by Thursday and that'll head throughout the weekend. Temperatures are going to be making a nice recovery into the middle 50s by Friday. With your Mississippi State University Campus Connect forecast, I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke.